Um, juntos um, went to Norristown to respond to a lot of calls that we were getting around um, police issues with the community and also about um, ICE um, interactions with the local police um, and how that was affecting local community trust with police, the police department. Um, and so what we were responding to was a need from the community to make things change around those relationships and in particular the, the checkpoints that we're having for driver's licenses not include um, ICE involvement so that people weren't getting deported for not having driver's licenses. I, I'm really surprised that, you know, that, they, that they're that they saying this because uh, I didn't see it. I haven't seen any of this. Uh, like I said, you know, their, ICE is a federal agency. Uh, if they ask us for assistance, you know, we assist them. But I don't ever recall us actually calling them in here you know, to do this type of a service. I don't understand why it's so hard to admit to what was happening last year. We have documented proof. There's FOIAs about ICE, ICE themselves have admitted to being a part of those checkpoints. I'm just glad they're not coming back. As long as I am the chief of police in this town, there will not be anyone on those traffic uh, details but Norristown police officers. And you can rest assured of that. Um, we had an initial meeting in March um, and what were some of the commitments that were made in that meeting were that um, to end ICE involvement in those checkpoints um, and also in particular to ensure that um, there's a process for how to document abuses which is what we had asked for that were in, in Spanish. I think it was a very very uh, uh, good meeting uh, and we told them that it wasn't it's not going to happen overnight but uh, we were going to make some changes as soon as we possibly can, and we have made some changes. We've we've hired another additional Spanish-speaking young lady who help us out, you know, with our investigations. Uh, it help us out at the window out there when people come in, you know, the Latino community. But we want them to, to be able to come in here, you know, and, and feel that you know somebody's going to help them, you know, somebody that can understand, you know, their language. I'm glad that they hired somebody who is bilingual in the office, and I. I hope to get some of the trainings that we had talked about so that folks can actually be official interpreters rather than just being bilingual, which I think is valuable and important. And I'm confident that when we sit down again, we can revisit all those issues. We are working with community leaders and families inside of uh, Norristown right now in particular to develop some analysis about what it is that they want to move forward, how they want to move forward and do the work around police issues and our hope is that we can continue to build with the police department and have a space where community and police can finally sit down and talk about how to build trust across police and um, community people, across race, across language, across all those things. You know, I, I've instructed my supervisors that they are to let you know the, the officers know that they're to treat people with respect and use professionalism at all times.